How's she going, everybody? And welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Random. This time, I'm taking on Turbo Pug. And just, uh, just to let everyone know, I have not played this game ever. I don't even know what it is. It's just something I got in a bundle, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, character select. Let's see. Well, you get a black pug or a, or a regular pug. Uh, I'm gonna go with a black pug. No, actually, no, regular one. Oh, oh, I guess we're playing. Oh, we just, oh, we just jump. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, we gotta pick up the pug tokens, I guess. Oh, this is really easy. I should probably also say I'm indifferent about pugs. Oh, what happened? Oh, I died. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Pug points, 1360, best run. Oh, so it's kind of like, it's just one of those, those, like, collect as much crap as you can along your path. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm indifferent about pugs. They're actually one of my least favorite dogs, so, I mean, where some people might feel bad because their pug jumped into a giant spike and probably died, I, I mean, I, I feel for them, but at least it wasn't a dash hound. So it's kind of like, I guess, I don't know if you've ever played, um, oh, well, I impaled my pug again. Uh, if you've ever played, I think it's called Geometry Dash on like an iPad or something, it's, it's very not really similar, but kind of similar to that, I guess we'll go with, where you gotta like jump your stuff and just, you just, just a clicker, you don't even need your, your left hand. It's pretty sweet. I was hoping for a bit of a story, so actually I had something to actually to play, and that would actually take time, but... I guess I'll just see how far I can get. Oh, and he's impaled. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna see after after this uh, pug dies, I'm going to see uh, how I can buy other... Probably pugs, I would assume. Ooh. Oh, four. Oh, I didn't even jump. Wow. Okay, let's see if, uh... Oh, well, they just casually... Oh, look, I think they're cats now. Oh, we're gonna get this cat with Space Cat. Now we don't even have to be a pug. Oh, he, he gets some weird air. Oh, this is... This is messed up, actually. This is really hard to control. Oh, he's jumping into water. Oh, he gets the double jump, too. I don't really, I don't like this. I like my regular pug. I never thought I'd ever say I like that about a pug. I like my pug, but... Oh! Okay, it's... It's almost like the gravity kind of dropped with the selection of this character. Oh, I'm gonna hit that wall. Oh, I guess you can't hit walls. Walls don't kill you, just saws, giant... Oh, I killed my cat. Uh, yeah, so I guess the walls don't hurt you. So we'll see what, what this guy does, I guess. Rainbow butt pug or whatever. Oh, he's... Just back to the regular old pug. I think. Seems faster. I don't know if the cat maybe just felt slowed down because of the gravity situation or not, but this guy seems like he's on extra turbo. Oh, fudge. Oh, and it's going black and white. I guess the, the weather is changing, so it's getting dim and dark. Or maybe it's just the death of all those pugs have made the world sad. Oh, it's happy again. And now it's getting like purple toned. Oh, I think that's uh, that's probably what this guy's thing is, where he has a rainbow. Uh, I guess uh, maybe the color changes because it didn't do that before. Oh, a skeleton! Oh god! Oh, we can, I can double jump with all of them. I didn't realize that till just right now. I think that was uh, that was my best run. Look, three thousand nine eleven. Yeah, you can double jump with all the pugs and cats and. Oh, oh, that saved me, actually. Well, that's a game changer. Going for 5,000. I guess that'll be my goal. If I can hit 5,000, everything will be happy, and I'll get on with my life. I, I want to peek up at my score, but I also don't want to lose track of where I am. Gargoyles and everything now, holy crap. And skeletons. What kind of world is this pug living in? Oh, I was so close. 4,570. Okay, one more run. I think I can do it. Okay, one, one, one more run. That was, that was not my best attempt. A lot of the world seems to, like, regenerate. It's, it's 
it's kind of random, but it, it kind of gives you the same parts over and over again. It seems. Oh, oh, oh I tried to get, got confused at that treasure chest. I wasn't sure if I could get it or not. But anyways, 4,205. I'm getting closer to my... I wonder, this looks like a penguin. I don't even know. I kind of want to get those animals, but... I don't know how. I'm assuming it's based on your distance. And how many face... Pug faces things you pick up. Oh! I really want to get... To, uh... Oh! Wow, do you see that? Uh, I really, yeah, I really want to get to, uh, 5,000. Oh, and into the saw. That's, that's not... That's not how you're supposed to live with a pug. I kind of wish they'd make, like, Turbo Dash Hound, because, you know... Oh, oh, I burned him. Oh, he's crisp. Hope you like your pug well done. But, uh, yeah, I, I wish there was a Dash Hound dog. Uh, Dash Hound... I have a Dash Hound, and it's my favorite puppy. Although, I kind of feel bad if I was jumping my dash down into lava, puddles of water, spikes, saws, and discarded, disposed carcasses of humans. But it'd be cute. Oh no! Again, so close! Alright, well... Let's see, did we get anything new? Nah, just some cats and stuff. I guess it, it's, it's probably based on distance, the farther you get, the farther the more you unlock kind of thing. So that that's Turbo Pug 1. All right, so while we're on Turbo Pug, and while Turbo Pug, the standard version, didn't quite take as long as I expected because it was just really a straightforward, jumpy over stuff game, why not try out Turbo Pug 3D at the same time? So let's, uh, oh shit, oh wow, oh this is a complete, oh. and he's shattered into a zillion pieces. Well, this is a different, uh, completely different angle, like literally. And you can't, I don't think you can double jump this time. This is, this is a lot harder actually. I mean, I don't even, I'm not even, it takes a whole lot of concentration because it's, it's just, it's the way you're coming at it, kind of on that forward, sideways, backwards, you know. Oh, you don't have to jump those hills. That's probably why. But yeah. Oh shit, like, it's just hard to estimate, or not really estimate, well, I guess estimate, where your pug is kind of standing. Oh, there we go, now I got it. I'm assuming in this one too, if you hit the walls, you, uh, you die. Oh, yeah, you definitely die. But that was our, uh, that was my best run, for sure. Uh, 200 with three pug coins. Uh, let's see what the characters... We don't got any new ones. Oh, it's a cat and penguin. I guess that's what was in the last game, too. Then you can get different versions. Oh, we're just going with regular plug. We'll do this couple... Couple more runs on this. I ain't going for... Oh, fudge. It's so... It's just so difficult. You don't get as much space, either. It's like you gotta be right on your click. Definitely ain't getting no 5,000 in this one. Not even... If I get 500, I'd be happy. Again, it's it's dimming out. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why it does that, but it's distracting. Probably that's probably why it does it to distract you. Oh no! I knew as soon as I clicked that that I hit it way too soon. That was bad. That took a long time to get 245 too. I think my, my best, I think, is 300. Oh, it's getting dark now. Cycling through all the friggin' seasons and times. Like, you really have to pay attention to what's coming, like, ugh, see? Like, you gotta, you gotta know what's coming after the thing that you're already jumping. So that way you can time your first jump, so that you can actually you know, be in line to make your second jump sometimes. Because if you jump too late on your first jump, you're not going to be able to click fast enough to get your second jump down. If you jump too early, you're going to hit your first obstacle and die before you get to your second jump. But this one's a lot hard, a lot harder and a lot more precise. This is going to be my last one. Just one, one more run here. Make it a good one. And see if I can get past 300.
Ooh, Jesus. Okay, that was... That was hard. Oh, no, I hit the edge. 190, wow. Alright. Well, I gotta say, I think I prefer... Um... Turbo Pug to Turbo Pug 3D. I mean, it looks... I mean, it's 3D, so it obviously looks a little bit better. This one's a lot harder. It's not even as... It's not... It's not super hard. Like, it's a challenge. It's just difficult to estimate. And the first one was kind of... You know, you could you could pick it up and get into it a lot easier and actually have a good run. But, um... So that's, that's Turbo Pug. There's, like, a bunch of other versions of this, too. This is... This was 3D and then the standard Turbo Pug. Uh, they're neat little games. They're cute. Especially if you like pugs and... Or if you don't like pugs and you like watching your pugs burn in lava, drown in water, and impale themselves on spikes. You know, it's for pug lovers and pug haters. It's good for everyone. So, um, yeah, go pick that up if you just want to click around a little bit. I don't think it's that expensive. I got all the games in a bundle for like a dollar twenty-nine. So that was uh, that was a good deal. But anyways, that's all for now. So thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Random Turbo Pug and subscribe to the channel if you want updates on new content that will be coming out. And uh, hit like if you like this video and tell me what you think about Turbo Pug or what you think about pugs. And until next time, be good everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.